Have you ever stopped to consider the potential negative impacts of technology on our lives? In today's world, it's almost impossible to imagine life without the convenience of modern technology. It's everywhere, in our pockets, on our desks, and even embedded in our appliances. But as we revel in the comfort and ease it provides, we often overlook the hidden perils that come with it. This video is going to push past the shiny exterior of the latest gadgets and dive deep into the unseen dangers of technology. You see, while technology has undoubtedly transformed our world, it's not all rainbows and sunshine, like the two sides of a coin. Technology, too, has a darker side, a side that often gets overlooked in the glitz and glamour of the digital age. This is not to say that technology doesn't have its benefits. It does, and they are many. It has revolutionized communication, made information readily available, and even transformed how we work and play. But much like a rose with its thorns, technology comes with its own set of hazards. In this video, we will explore the negative effects of technology, from the impact on our mental health to the rise of cyber crimes, and even how it's displacing jobs in certain sectors. We will bring these issues to light through real-life case studies, making it clear that these are not just hypothetical dangers, but real challenges that we face in this digital era. The aim here is not to scare you away from technology, but to encourage a more conscious use of it. To understand that while it can be a tool for good, it can also be a weapon for harm if not used responsibly. It's about striking a balance, about using technology to enhance our lives, not control them. So as we embark on this journey, we invite you to open your minds, question the status quo, and look beyond the screen. Technology is a powerful tool, but it's up to us to ensure it doesn't become a dangerous weapon. Stay with us as we delve into the dark side of technology. Consider the omnipresence of social media, a technological advancement that has profoundly changed the way we communicate. From Facebook to Instagram, Twitter to TikTok, these platforms have become an integral part of our daily lives. They've transformed the way we share information, express ourselves, and even how we perceive the world around us. But what happens when a tool designed to bring us closer ends up pulling us apart? The rise of social media has been meteoric, with billions of people around the globe now connected at the touch of a button. However, this connectivity comes at a price. Studies suggest that prolonged use of these platforms can lead to feelings of isolation, depression, and anxiety. One might ask, how is it possible that platforms built for connection can cause such disconnect? Let's delve into the science behind it. When we scroll through our feeds, seeing the highlight reels of others' lives, it can lead to a phenomenon known as social comparison. We begin to measure our lives against the carefully curated lives of others, and this can breed feelings of inadequacy and dissatisfaction. Furthermore, the addictive nature of social media is no accident. These platforms are designed to keep us engaged for as long as possible using algorithms that feed us content based on our likes, shares, and comments. This can result in a cycle of dependence and validation where our self-worth is tied to the number of likes or comments we receive. In a recent study, it was found that teenagers who spend five or more hours a day on social media were twice as likely to show symptoms of depression compared to those who spent only one hour. Another study revealed that Frequent use of social media was associated with increased levels of anxiety and poorer sleep quality. While these platforms provide an avenue for expression and connection, it's crucial to remember the potential pitfalls. The line between use and overuse is thin, and it's easy to cross when we're not vigilant. The irony is palpable. A tool meant for connection ends up causing disconnection. Let's remember to use technology wisely not allowing it to dictate our self-worth or our sense of belonging. The power to control our interaction with technology lies within us. Let's use it wisely. As we navigate further into the digital realm, we find ourselves more vulnerable to the perils of cybercrime. Imagine, if you will, a world where our personal information, our digital identities, are just a few clicks away from being stolen, manipulated, or even destroyed this isn't a dystopian future, it's the reality we face today. The advent of technology has brought with it an alarming rise in cybercrimes. Cybercriminals are becoming increasingly sophisticated, exploiting the interconnectedness of our digital lives to commit heinous acts. These crimes 
are not confined to the murky corners of the dark web or the realms of science fiction. They happen in broad daylight, in our homes, our workplaces, on our devices. But let's take a moment to consider the case of a certain Jane Doe. Jane is an everyday individual, much like you or me. One day, she receives an email from her bank asking her to update her banking details. She complies, unwittingly handing over her information to a cyber criminal. The result? Her life savings wiped out in the blink of an eye. Or consider the story of a multinational corporation that falls victim to a ransomware attack. Their systems are seized, their data encrypted, and they're left with a chilling message. Pay a hefty ransom or lose everything. These instances are not anomalies, they are the harsh realities of a world increasingly reliant on technology. Then we have hacking, a term that has become synonymous with cybercrime. From infiltrating secure networks to hijacking sensitive data, hackers pose a formidable threat to individuals and organizations alike. And let's not forget about identity theft, where cyber criminals impersonate others to commit fraud, often causing irreparable damage. In the wrong hands, technology can be a weapon of mass destruction. It's a sobering reminder of the dark side of our digital age. As we continue to traverse this technological landscape, we must remain vigilant, aware, and proactive. After all, in the realm of cybercrime, the best defense is a good defense. The rise of automation and artificial intelligence raises a pressing concern, job displacement. The march of progress often comes with its own set of challenges. Technological advancements, while driving efficiency and productivity to new heights, have also led to a significant shift in the job landscape. It's a double-edged sword, and the other edge is job loss. Consider the manufacturing sector, for example. Once a bustling hub of human activity, many factories today are filled with the hum of machines and the whir of robots. A study by the World Economic Forum revealed that by 2025, machines will be performing over half of all work tasks, up from just a third today. Similarly, in the retail industry, self-checkout counters and automated inventory systems are replacing traditional cashier and stockist roles. The transportation sector isn't immune either, with self-driving vehicles threatening to make truck and taxi drivers obsolete. But it's not just manual labor that's at risk. White-collar jobs are also under threat. Advanced algorithms can now analyze legal documents, diagnose diseases, and even write news reports. A report by McKinsey Global Institute suggests that by 2030, up to one-third of the American workforce could need to switch occupations due to automation. These changes are not inherently bad. They can free up humans to engage in more complex, creative, and socially interactive work. However, the transition can be painful, especially for those whose skills are made redundant. And it's not just about unemployment. Job displacement can lead to social instability, increased income inequality, and even political unrest. The societal impacts of job displacement can ripple outwards, affecting not just individuals, but entire communities. As we continue to embrace technological progress, it's crucial to consider its human cost. The challenge for policymakers, educators, and business leaders is to manage this transition in a way that minimizes harm and maximizes opportunity. As machines replace men, the question arises, what happens to the displaced workforce? The dark side of technology as we have seen is not something we can ignore. It's a complex web of issues, each one a thread woven intricately into the fabric of our daily lives. Let's take a moment to recall the key points we've discussed. First, we delved into the realm of social media and its impact on mental health. We saw how this digital landscape while offering connectivity and information also harbors pitfalls such as online harassment, unrealistic expectations, and the constant pressure to maintain an impeccable online persona. These factors can lead to anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues, particularly among young people. Next, we ventured into the world of cyber crimes. From personal data breaches and identity theft to large-scale cyber attacks on corporations and governments, the rise in cybercrimes is a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities inherent in our digital world. Our increasing reliance on technology makes us ever more susceptible to these threats. We also explored the issue of job displacement due to automation and artificial intelligence. While these technological advancements promise efficiency and productivity, they also pose a real threat to job security. Many traditional roles are being phased out, replaced by machines and algorithms that work tirelessly and without error. But let's be clear, 
The intention here is not to instill fear or demonize technology. Rather, it's to emphasize the need for awareness, for precautions, and for policies that mitigate these negative effects. We need to educate ourselves and others about these issues, invest in cybersecurity, and create policies that ensure a fair transition for workers displaced by automation. As we embrace the future, we must remain vigilant of the shadows cast by our own creations. After all, technology is a tool, and its impact, good or bad, lies in how we wield it.